Greetings. This is a planetary alignment and earthquake watch for May 14 and 15, 2015. A significant planetary alignment suggests a powerful 7.2 magnitude earthquake is possible during this time frame due to the key planetary alignment of Saturn, Earth and Mars. We're now looking at the May ephemeris, which is a heliocentric perspective of what's taking place celestially during May 14 and 15, as well as a key planetary alignment geocentric of Mars, Saturn and Earth. We also have the heliocentric influences during this time frame between Jupiter, Mercury and Venus, which will contribute to significant volatility, which may suggest a very strong earthquake registered to 7.2 or an extensive and large volcanic eruption. We're now looking at Mars and Saturn a little bit more closely during the month of May as significant as the alignment heliocentrically on May 2nd between Mars, Sun and Saturn with the Earth not too far away and we see a geocentric alignment where Earth moves in between both Mars and Saturn to form its alignment on May 15. Now this is significant and needs to be monitored closely as the last time the Earth moved in between both Mars and Saturn the volcanic eruption in Iceland took place in 2014. As mentioned, the Badabunga volcano was in full-blown eruption and lasted almost six months, beginning on August 29, 2014, stretching right through to February 2015. Now, this eruption took place just as Mars was moving in between both Earth and Saturn, and that's the same alignment we have during this earthquake watch of May 14 and 15. On May 15 at 6 a.m. UTC, the Earth moves in between both Mars and Saturn, and geocentrically this is called a Mars-Saturn opposition, whereas in August 2014 Mars was moving in between both Earth and Saturn and that was a Mars-Saturn conjunction. We're now going to look at two previous Earth-Mars-Saturn alignments occurring in 2008 and 2012, both significant alignments and both having registered earthquakes in the Sea of Okhotsk and both at 7.7 .7 magnitude. Now this is highlighted during this watch period as a key area of focus whether this recurring planetary geometry produces another earthquake in the Sea of Okhotsk or in another location in the Southern Hemisphere. We're now looking at May 15 a little bit more closely, this time looking at an astrological perspective using a heliocentric and geocentric charts. The key emphasis finding other planetary positions and aspects that will be playing a major role during this time frame which may contribute and enhance to any seismicity or volcanic activation activity during this time frame of May 14 into May 15. We're now looking at this heliocentrically and the extra planetary influences of Jupiter which would be square aspected to Saturn and the Earth or at 90 degrees and we see that Neptune is involved heavily both squaring Saturn and the Earth and also squaring Mars or 90 degrees aspect should ensure high volatility during this time frame of May 14 and 15. Now focusing geocentrically or Earth centred we see the influences between Neptune trining Venus or at 120 degrees aspect and Neptune trining Jupiter. Now these are harmonious aspects but you also have the influence of Pluto which will be at Yod aspect with Mercury and also Jupiter or at 150 degrees aspect. We're now going to focus our attention to this solar corona and look for strong coronal hole formations which could foreshadow where this large earthquake registered to 7.5 magnitude could be. And we do see two areas of focus, one in the northern hemisphere of a coronal hole formation that has already rotated off the earth facing side of the disk or a very strong southern hemisphere coronal hole formation CH667 which will be ideally positioned for a strong earthquake during this watch. Now using solar symmetry mapping this strong coronal hole formation to the Earth to find locations that could receive this potential 7.5 magnitude earthquake. I have isolated 25 to 36 degrees south latitude as the main area of focus. We're now looking at seismicity of the northwestern corner of the Pacific Plate and there's not much to speak of in terms of seismic events which is a concern. Now this could be indicative of a strong event for either the Kuril Islands, even Kamchatka Peninsula and even to a lesser extent the Aleutian Islands. Now this area is usually quite busy but suspiciously this time around it has been fairly quiet. Now I'm concerned of this very strong coronal hole formation that has rotated off the western limb of the solar corona a few days ago could be indicative of a very strong event building in these regions. With that being said now for the forecast. Now I'm expecting a very powerful earthquake and using planetary symmetry with previous planetary alignments it indicates an event if in the northern hemisphere 
suggesting that the Sea of Okhotsk or the Kuril Islands could receive this potential 7.5 magnitude earthquake. If this event is a southern hemisphere earthquake, using the large coronal hole formation on the solar corona suggests two regions that would be most fitting of this profile signature, with the main area of focus being the Comatic Islands region. And my second and final area of concern would be for South America, specifically isolating the regions of Chile, Atacama, Coquimbo and Valparaiso, possibly even an offshore earthquake during this time frame of May 14 and 15 will be the most likely scenario. It is worth mentioning that the main newsletter currently available on the SolarWatcher.net website for the month of May accurately forecasts of the X-Class solar flare that occurred on May 5, as well as Typhoon Null, which is about to impact the Philippine region. Its track was also forecasted in the newsletter. For more information, please visit SolarWatcher.net. And that concludes this planetary alignment and earthquake watch for May 14 and 15, 2015. Thanks for watching. <laughs>